Welcome to another video in the data migration playlist. Now we understand how to use LSMW batch input recording to mass create or change master data objects as we saw in the last demo using the cost center master data. Now based on your requests, I am also going to explain how to upload transactional data. And for this, I will take the example of financial accounting documents because we have multiple requirements in FI documents. So we can have customer documents, vendor documents, or general ledger accounting documents and each one will have different requirements. So this will help us understand how to use the different options available in LSMW. The objective from these videos would be to help you fully understand the capabilities and limitations of the different options in LSMW so you can choose which option is best for you based on your business requirements. So I will start in this video by explaining the different options available to upload financial accounting documents using LSMW and then I will proceed with the demonstration of each option. I have already explained the basics of LSMW in the last video, so starting from this video I will explain things faster and I will also demonstrate things on the system faster. So always follow the playlist when watching these videos. I will leave you a link to the playlist somewhere here. The first option we have to create financial accounting documents in SAP is to use the enjoy transactions. So FB50, FB60, and FB70. Now the first limitation we can see is that we have a different transaction per each type. So we have one transaction for GL accounts, which is the FB50. We have one transaction for customers, FB70, and one for vendors, FB60. So if we use the batch input recording with LSMW, we'll have to create multiple programs, one per each transaction. The benefit of using these transactions is that they are very easy to use and they can be easily recorded. So let me show you an example. Now I will open transaction FB70. So this is used to create customer accounting, customer account documents or customer line items. First of all, we have the transaction. So we can either choose an invoice or a credit memo and this can be recorded in LSMW. So we can make one recording and use it to upload both credit memos and invoices if needed. So first we choose the transaction, so either invoice credit memo, and then we have the customer, invoice date, posting date, and then we have the document type. So this can also be changed. And this is something that you can display based on your settings. So these are this is based on the user settings. So let me show you quickly this. So if you go here to editing options, we can choose here whether the document type can be changed or not in the transaction. This is important because if you want to upload multiple document types, using FB70, then for each document you want to have the document type inserted, so then in this case you must choose, you choose this option, document type ready for input. The default setting is that it's not displayed, document type is hidden, so this is related to each user ID, it is user settings, okay? Then you save and go back. Now I have the document type here, and then we have the amount, and then we have different line items for the other side of the entry. So we have one side where we can have a customer, so the customer can either be debit or credit, and then we can have multiple lines on the other side. Normally, when we are uploading accounts receivable documents, we will have one, one entry in the debit side or the credit for the customer, and we have one entry on the other side for the initial balance upload account. We don't have multiple lines. But if you want to include multiple lines, then go ahead. Of course, whatever you record when you are doing the batch input recording in LSMW, whatever you record is what will be available in the upload template. So if you insert only one line, then you'll have only the fields for one line. If you insert two, you'll have the fields for two and so on. And then also here, if you see, we can scroll to the right and to the left. This doesn't cause any issues in the batch input recording. So when we do LSMW, I'm going to demonstrate this in the next video. When we do the recording, this will not pose any issues. Then we can also, we may face some issues in handling the amount and the date fields, but this is something that you can easily learn. And this is what I will explain in the next video. So this is the first option using the enjoy transactions. Very easy to use, easy to record, but the disadvantage is we have to create multiple programs, one per each transaction. So one for FB50, one for FB60, and one for FB70. Now the second option we have for creating financial accounting documents is using the transaction FB01. So transaction FB01 is the most dynamic transaction for posting accounting documents. It can be used to post anything. So we can choose the posting key here in the line and based on the posting key, SAP determines whether this is for customers, vendors, asset or anything else. So if I open this list, 
Here we have the different posting keys and for each posting key, we, we have the usage of this. So for example, posting key one is for customers debit, which is also, which has the description invoice. While zero two is for customers debit and is used for reverse credit memo. Then we have, for example, if you scroll down, we have customers credit. This is for incoming payment. And if you scroll down, we have vendor debit for clearing or vendor debit for payment difference. We can also scroll down and we'll find assets. So we have debit asset, credit asset. We have G. So this is for GL accounts, I believe. And then we have M, which is for material accounts. So we have different posting keys that can be used for different account types and all of them in the same transaction. So this looks very promising. Maybe we can make only one recording, but the disadvantage is for each posting key, you will open a different screen. So remember in LSMW batch input recording in the last demo, when we do the recording, we then get the screen name and then the fields in each screen. Now the screen name changes based on the posting key. So if you record, for example, a transaction with posting key 01, and then you do the record, then SAP will record the fields for transaction for posting key 01. Now, if you are doing the upload and you try to upload something with posting key 02 or 03, SAP will give an error that it cannot find the screen that's recorded, which means that we have to create one program, batch input recording program per posting key. So for example, now I'm going to create one account, one posting quickly just to show you. Now I, the, I have here the document date. So let's say 2606-2024. The type is DA. So this is for customer general documents. Then we have the company code, the currency. We can also include the currency rate. This is something we do usually because when we are uploading historical documents, we want to upload also the historical exchange rate. Then we can have the reference here, so ref, and we have document header text. And then here we have the posting key for the first line item. So let's say I'm going to post a debit to a customer and a credit to a, to a GL account. So customer debit is 01. And then my customer is 20,000. So this is my customer. This is the, these are the details of the first line. Now, if I open the technical details of this field, go here. So this is the field name. We have the program name, the screen number 0301, and we have the field name. Now, let's fill these details. So this screen is 0301. This is the screen number. Now I put here 1000. And then I can also include assignment, text, and so on. And then for the second line item, I'm going to use posting key 50. So this is for GL account credit entry. And my account is 911. 101. So this is the initial balance upload account. Here, this will be a credit for also 1000. Now, what I want to show you is if I open here, first of all, you can see here, we have different fields than the fields we had when we used posting key one. So this is the first difference we can see. So each posting key changes the screen that will appear next. Now, what I can do also is click here and go to help. Go again to the technical details. And you see here the screen number is 300, not 301. So now while I'm recording, SAP captured first the screen 301, and now it captured the screen 300. Now when I'm doing the upload, SAP will expect to find these two screens while processing the batch session. If it doesn't find any of these screens, it will give an error that it has some details related to a screen that cannot be found and the program will be blocked. So whatever we record, we have to follow exactly the same in our upload. So now I'm recording a transaction for a debit to a customer and a credit to a GL account. Then this program can only be used for these documents. I cannot use it for vendor postings or for credit memo with the customer or for any other kind of posting that has a different posting key. This is very important. So it can be used. We can do batch input recording LSMW with FB01. It can be used and it will work fine, but you have to use the same posting keys that you recorded exactly. It, can be, it cannot be used for different documents. So this is a very important limitation for FB01. And this is why it's not very dynamic. Based on your business case, maybe you want to upload some documents that all have the same nature. So all of them have the same posting keys for debit and credit. Then in this case, go ahead and use this option. As you see, it is easy to record, it's easy to use, and it will not cause any issues. Also here, you can go to the more 
the more details like the account assignment this will also be recorded fine it will not cause any issues you can also go here to more data let me go back you can also go to more data here this will not also cause any issues so it is a very easy screen to record it's very good but the limitation is whatever you record you have to create documents with exactly the same posting key so this is the second option we have fb01 now let's go back and let's talk about the third option which is the best one but it is more complicated than the other options so if i go here to lsmw the third option is to use the direct input method so this is something i have not explained yet in this playlist so i'm going to create a full demo for the direct input method for financial accounting documents as an example you can use it after this for any other object you want it is a very good option because we can have one program and use it to create all the different kind of documents we want but it is more complicated than the other options so just to give you a quick idea if i go here to any project i have so if i go here to define object attribute instead of using batch input recording which we use when we do the batch input recording i'm going to use direct input and here if you check the objects we already have one object for financial accounting documents so if we check here go down financial documents so this is already created by standard by SCEP. It's a program that anyone can use. If we check here in the method, I'm going to use the first one. So RFBIBL00, this is the program name. And then here the, the program type is direct input. Now if I save and go back. Now if we go to object overview, remember in the demo when we go to object overview, it shows us all the source fields and all the target fields and the mapping. So if I go here to object overview, table so you see how many fields are available and also how many structures so when we did the batch input recording we only had one structure that we used to record all the different fields but here when we use the direct input as you see we have different structures so we have structure for session data document header accounting document segment and then if we go down we have two or three other structures so we have document withholding tax and document taxes section header creating data selection line item so it looks complicated because it has a lot of options and then we for each structure we can choose which fields we want to use and we map them to our source structures and then we create our excel sheets but of course in this case for each structure we will have a different excel upload sheet so you'll have different sheets assigned to the program it is more complicated than batch input recording but it is very dynamic and it can be used it's much faster than batch input recording and it also can be used to upload all the different types of documents the meaning of direct input is that SAP is not going to use the screens as we do in batch input recording so SAP is not going to go to each screen and fill the data but instead SAP will go and fill the data directly in the database after doing any check necessary to make sure that there is no wrong data inserted so it will respect all the validations and all the uh, rules that we have for the screens but it will insert the data directly in the table so it's much faster and it can be used for all the different types of documents so this is the third option direct input which is the strongest option but also the most complicated of the three options i just explained now we understand the different options available in SAP to create financial accounting documents and we also have an initial idea on the limitations of using each option with lsmw starting from the next video i'm going to demonstrate each of these options and this will give us full understanding on which option to use in which business case so continue watching the playlist and remember that there may be some member exclusive videos that can only be seen if you check the playlist and if you would like to watch these videos then you can join the channel membership program i will leave you a link somewhere here don't forget to share the video with your connections subscribe to the channel check the channel membership program if you would like to get access to my SAP testing system then you can check galalconsulting.com slash SAP access. I will leave you the link here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.